Howdy everybody in YouTube land. Yachate, Gross aus Texas. Hey folks, got another demonstration for you. This time it's going to involve ammunition for your AR versus an armor plate. Now who I've got for the armor plate downrange is still a Tactical Scorpion gear. That's kind of a tongue twister for me folks. Yeah, their, their armor plate rated as a level three and uh, we kind of beat it up the last demonstration with some 545 by 39 but this time I want to bring out Frankenstein and yes people if you'll notice Frankenstein has had a little bit of a facelift okay uh, paint job and I know I, I'm sorry I, I do apologize I did promise y'all that I would uh, record how I did this but it was kind of hard to paint and record at the same time so it didn't come out that great but I will try again I'm trying to get someone to come and hold the camera for me while I do it okay but we'll get to that don't worry folks check it out my rattlesnake skin pattern all right, all right, people, let's get on with the ammo for today. Let me show you what I got. So, folks, I'm using what I consider kind of commonly found a 5.56-223 ammo. Uh, kind of bargain basement type stuff today. So, I realize there's a lot of different kinds of ammo for your 5.56-223 caliber rifle. But this is what I came up with. From cheapest or least expensive to uh, cost a little more. So, today I've got some 223 from Perfecta, Walmart brand, about 30 cents a round. Let me all may find these deals a little bit better. Uh, again, I got from Walmart some 223 American Eagle. Now this is supposed to be the military grade stuff, all right? Let's see how fast this stuff can boogie down the highway down there. Uh, about 34-ish cents around. Now these next two cost about the same, people. I got some uh, Independence 556. Now this is supposed to be the XM193 version, okay? Let's give it a try and to top it all off, some Israeli uh, IMI ammunition. This is a 62 grain 5.56 of the M855. Uh, both of them clock in at about 40 cents a round. Remember, people, my budget's kind of like about 34, 36 cents a round. Okay, that's what I can budget. But is there a good reason, folks? Is there a good reason to kind of have a few of these defensive type, more powerful, more expensive rounds? Well, we'll find out. We'll see how each of them fare up against this armor plate. Y'all ready? Let's lock and load and rock and roll. So, T Mag, okay? Gonna take a round from each box, folks. And of course, people, safety first, safety always. Got my eye protection on, my armor, uh, some soft armor here. You know, if y'all are from Germany like I am, we'll just have. Representing Walmart Perfecta 223 55 grain. Remember, people, in my last uh, video using the 545 by 39 ammo, that armor is rated for 7.62, I think, uh, 2800 feet per second ball ammunition. Okay, let's see how well this one fares. Again, people, we have hits, but no penetration. the IMI. Let's go with a heavy hitter, the 62 grain. Let's see what we got here. Green tip. Okay. Some of y'all would cringe if you ever watch me. Sometimes I put bullets in my teeth sometimes and some of you oh, you're a nurse. That's, you might get, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes you probably be shocked by some of the things that I do at the farm. Hold on, folks, hold on. Doing this one, one-handed here. All right, 
62 grain. Still, people, I see no penetration. Now, isn't that the one that the ATF was trying to ban, the M855, because they said it has like a something a steel penetrator, something like that in there? Question, comments, leave them below, people. Just, just asking, really, for everyone's idle curiosity. Now we're going to go with the uh, 55 grain Independence people. Uh, they say this is the XM193. Let's see how this turns out, okay? That armor's holding up pretty well, people. Uh, I gotta give to those guys over there at Tactical Scorpion Gear. That's. I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm putting a beating on this thing. Alright. Well, I had a lot of jump, people. Oh, 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 okay, hold up, oh, hold up. Let's hope I didn't. <laughs> Let's go have a look. I definitely see water, but let me see if it kind of did me like it did the other day with the, uh, did it hit the bottom ricochet? What did it do over here? Okay. Let's find out. And guess what it did, people? Okay. Did y'all take notes of what kind of ammunition that was? I want to really thank somebody for selling me that box. Uh, there's a hole, folks. There is a hole. See it right there? That was the uh, independent XM193 55 grain 556 five, round. I want to tell you some people, I want to thank one person for throwing me that box of ammo. And that's old Gene over there at JT Sports. Good job, G, for showing me that ammo, okay? Hold on, let's go have a look. Bear with me, people. I may have to set this camera down. I noticed it punched through, folks. It punched into the, into the uh, five-gallon bucket. Bear with me. Let me just set this down. Let's have a look. So I've got punch through. But I don't think I have an exit. Let's hope I don't drop the camera in the wall. Hold up, folks. I'm going to show you what I found so far. Hold on. Hold on. There's a yellow jacket here. <laughs> a dead one, thank goodness. Yellow jackets are like bees. They're just uh, gangsters. <laughs> bees are sweet, and they say, hey, I'll make you some honey and a tasty treat. Yellow jackets, I'll cut you. I'll cut you. <laughs> well, people, let me show you what I found. Can you see that? That looks like a plug that got knocked straight through so I'm gonna guess it was probably like that okay so that may be <laughs> that's probably people an algamy of the actual uh, actual plate here with a little bit of the, of the round but that's like a perfect plug. Look at that. Well, all I got to say, sports fans, is while it is a tad bit more expensive than what I most of the time <laughs> want to spend, uh, I think I'm going to stock up on some of this. Let's go back over there and let's go back here and have a look. Hold on. Okay, now, riddle me this, folks. So, you can get that kind of ammunition which definitely penetrates uh, armor. But, 7 and 6 was banned. Which didn't penetrate the armor. Which is allegedly armor piercing. Y'all see my point? Okay. Now, so, 
AR556 independent surround, people ammunition, 5.56 by 45, 55 grain, full metal jacket, XM193. Penetrated that armor. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, folks. Um, what do y'all think? Question and comments, people. Um, uh, I don't care if you share your political views. I'm okay with that. I have mine at this moment. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what am I going to say? Questions, comments, leave below, folks. Hey, I'm Johnny the Practical Nurse. Until I see you again for our next demonstration, which will involve the 7.60 by 39 on that poor piece of armor. <laughs> we'll see how well that holds up. Again, I'm Johnny the Practical Nurse. I'll see you next time out here.